Welcome to Cross Gems. In this video, we are going to do a run by pass. So, first of all, we are going to start going to Gems and select Gem and Ring. We'll select the size, US size 8 in this case, and we select the Gem Cut. Marquees, we go to Gem Size and select 7.8. Two. Now we're going to transform, we move the griddle dot two dot one and press OK. Now we go to rings, select Romba Pass and we modify the top to fit with the with the gem. So we disable proportional and we move the round width and the round length. We modify the end position. And the top width, the top thickness, sorry. Yeah. Shoot at four. And the width, shoot at two. Okay. Now we press OK. We select the gem, we go to gem settings, select the bezel, we go to the bottom, reduce the depth, we can reduce with the scroll in the slider, and we press OK. Now we have the bezel and the ring. The next step is select the gem. We go to gems and press offset gem curve. We modify the horizontal offset and the vertical. In vertical we select less 0.7 and the horizontal 1.4. One dot five there. We press OK. Now we select the the gems and curve. We select the offset. We go to options. We select the start point and the end point. We modify the size, we select 1.1 or 1.2. We go to gem options, select the space between gems, 0 0.3. We go options again. And we rotate 15 degrees. We press OK, we select the gems, we go to settings, gem settings, and select bezel. We go to the top, we select 0 0.55, we select 0 0.25, and enable chamfer. We go to the bottom, select the depth, 0 0.5, the deeper distance, 0 0.3, and the stone seat, 0 0.5. 
five and the stone taper zero. Now we press OK. Maybe the the height we can modify. We can select and with the scroll button, the middle, we can modify, but we can modify too if we want here in the edit. We select 0 0.15 and press OK. The next step will be create the gems and curve. So first of all, we go to tools, we go to select this curve, select the arrow and select the side. We press enter and we press OK. Now we select the it's a curve, we go to gems and gems and curve. We go to options, disable both sides and select the start point and end point. We go to gem size and select one to two. Okay. Now we go to gem options and select the gem placement table. And we press OK. We select the gems. We go to gem settings and branch row. We can change the display mode. So we select wireframe to see the the setting scene we can select ghost and we are going to modify the prong thickness 0 0.55 and the we move horizontal we are going to select ends and the single start we are going to select one and the single end one, one prong. We go settings and select the height, zero dot one, and press OK. The next step will be the cutters. So we go cutters channel cutter, we select the Jameson curve, we go to caps and select the round, the type round, we disable both sides because this is so so long, so large, so we are going to modify a little bit and the start cap Yeah. Now we press OK. And the last step will be uh, do the mirrors and the boolean of the of this channel cutter. We go tools, mirror, and select the objects. We select the gems. We select the vessels. We go to mirror. Disable horizontal and enable diagonal. We press OK. We can press right click to repeat the last command. So we press right click and there is the mirror and select the channel cutter. Mirror, disable horizontal and enable diagonal again. We press OK and repeat again. Right click select objects to mirror and select the the gems these gems 
and the sprongs. Go mirror, disable horizontal, add, and enable diagonal. We press OK. Now we go tools, volume difference, we select the ring, and we select the channel cutter and the mirror channel cutter. We press OK, and there is. We can change to the render view, and the last step is select the materials to the vessels and the, the gem. We can press shift and select the vessels. We go to materials and select gold 18. We select the marquees and select emerald. And there is. Thanks for watching and if you like the video, subscribe us.